So I'm going to change your life by showing you how you can use Federated Wiki as a simple JSON database to power any web application that you want. Let's make a database. We're going to make a database here and we're going to do it by uh, just creating a new Federated Wiki site. And I'm just going to start right here and I'm going to say template index. And we're going to create a template uh, that is, um, we're going to call it a side image layout template. And what we want to do is we're, we're going to create a, a database record type that uh, is going to be used for pages where we want uh, an image, a big image at the side, and then some text over here. So, and, okay, we make this into where the image is going to be inserted. And we could even have another, um, if we wanted to get more complex here. If we wanted to get more complex here, we could add custom titles, custom, uh, you know, custom anything really. Uh, we could have a um, place for tags or something like that. Let's add a place for related pages. All right, so we've got the image. We've got the uh, related pages here as links, uh, and we've got the text goes here and below. The factory of these, each of these things has an ID. And when we go here and we say, um, let's make a page called um, about this site. And so we make this page and we're gonna make a page about the site and we're gonna create it from the side image layout template. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We know that this ID for this image will always be the same, right? Every time we use this template, this ID will be the uh, be the same. Um, we know that this ID here, which symbolizes where we're going to have our related stuff, is always going to be uh, is always going to be the same. So, how can we use that? If you think about what we have here is a tiny little database record. So let's use that. I think you'll be surprised how uh, little code there is to generate uh, one of these pages. So this is uh, all the code. There's uh, 201 lines, uh, including the HTML, that uh, turn the JSON we created in Federated Wiki uh, into this page here. And they could turn uh, any page into that um, when we go to site index for example we'll see that it just reads the site index and it's able to just show us what's on the site index we have this idea for this uh, side layout where there's an image that is specifically going to be uh, put on the on the side here so let's let's mess around with this a little So uh, we have this little handler here for Im images. We hit an image object, and right now it just writes it out with the uh, with the caption. Let's go down to where we call that handler. We're just going to pass that handler the ID as well. And we're going to make sure we're going to get that ID. So here's what we're going to do. We have this area that's the story area down here. Um, we're going to put another, uh, this one's going to be called side image. And, uh, you know, we should, um, here, let's. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh, if um, 
passes the ID, right? So we'll say if uh, ID uh, equals Since this is a template, right, we're always going to have the same ID for this image. Then we'll do something, and if it doesn't, we'll just do, do what we've been doing. to story. Let's create this thing. Add to side image. If it has this ID, Add to side image, and if it doesn't, add it to the story. Let's see how. Let's see how um, this will fail, <laughs> probably. But let's see how it works. All right. So now we have uh, this. I don't know if this looks better, but I'm just uh, showing how we can uh, how we can do this. Uh, but we still have these two uh, things here, um, these links. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to put the links um, I'd like to put the links right below the image each time. Let's add them to side image. Okay. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna find out what these links are. Here's the ID of the links. Uh, and then we'll go into file manager and these are always done in a paragraph so we'll find the paragraph handler here so we have this here let's let's actually simplify this but what we say is we'll make sure we'll get this uh, past an ID Do something else, do the normal thing, and, and we'll say add to story text, we'll say add to side image text, and I don't know, maybe that'll, maybe that'll just work, right? All right, so let's see how this works. All right, so now we have a template here. Uh, and once we've done this, we can make uh, any number of these. So if we wanted to, if we wanted to make another one of these, we just create it from the side image layout template. Drop another image in. I don't know how big that's going to be. Uh, we add some related pages. And then we're going to just add some uh, text here and say, um, Okay, so let's go and let's see uh, how this uh, how this ended up. So you see how it is here. Um, if we refresh this, we should see our new link.
What happened there? Oh, there we go. And there we go. Now, uh, unfortunately, because of the way that animated uh, GIFs uh, work, they're not really ideal for this sort of uh, page because they're fairly big. It takes a long time for them to load, and they have to be stored within the pages. But you see what's happened here is we have a, we have a template that we can use um, for uh, multiple pages. Uh, and it was, um, I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know why anybody would use a normal database at this point. Uh, this can be your JSON database uh, editing tool, and you can build whatever you want on top of it. Um, if you think of some of the things we're kind of hacking together and putting on top of WordPress, you know, uh, this might be a better way to do it. This frees you of the, the sort of tyranny of the um, of the, uh, the the table database. Because this is actually, because it's, it's more like an old navigational database. Anyway, I'll stop talking before people realize I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, that's how you do it. Uh, as you see, we've built an entire templated site um, that runs uh, entirely in your browser, except for the, the, the data. Um, it's about uh, 200 lines of uh, HTML and JavaScript. Uh, and it's customizable any way that you want. So, I mean, how is that not super, uh, how is that not super cool? Uh, 